Hi there, this is Miles from Light Harvest Solar. So um, today I wanted to talk about sizing a battery bank uh, for solar. So, uh, and I'm also only gonna talk in terms of lithium. Um, I don't, I've given up lead acid batteries, so they're just too uh, low performing. So um, anyway, when you're sizing a battery bank for off-grid solar, um, there's a what, one thing that is the very most important thing you need to understand is this. There's a wide range of what is appropriate for an off-grid solar system, the ratio of solar panels to batteries. Um, and it depends on your situation. So on one extreme, you're going to have the guy who has a cabin. He goes to once a month. He wants to live like a king with air conditioners and heaters and a whole bunch of stuff. Well, and then he leaves, stays there for two days, leaves. The solar system has a whole month to recharge. That guy wants to get a really big battery bank because he really wants to power a lot of big, heavy stuff for a couple days. And then he's leaving for a month. So essentially he can get a much smaller solar system, has a whole month to recharge. Okay, well, let's take that same guy and put him in a situation where he is in living in something that he needs every single day. Well, he lives good for two days, but uh, after his batteries are depleted, he's waiting a month until his batteries are recharged. And basically, he's consuming a whole lot more than he's generating. So a battery bank like that doesn't do that guy any good. It totally wastes all of his budget when it should be reallocated over to the panels. So you have to decide when you're, deci when you're evaluating an off-grid solar system where you lie in that. And the ratios are pretty far different. So let me just tell you what is an appropriate battery panel ratio. And of course there's the range too, particularly with the batteries right now because um, it is, I believe, uh, March of 2018 and uh, the batteries are still pretty expensive. $1,000 is what I'm retailing a 100 amp hour battery for. Um, I just got these uh, these heroin uh, in, um, they had a booth at the uh, Intersolar show in San Francisco and um, it's a screaming battery, not that expensive. Uh, Retail is probably right now in the $800 range, uh, although I gotta order them in. I'm testing them right now. I've had them hooked up for a couple weeks and they work great. So, um, appropriate uh let me tell you what i've got in here i run my off-grid showroom here off of uh solar um and two i have 200 amp hour um uh let uh, i'm sorry lithium right now and that's pretty close to what i've been running i've been running a, a calb 180 amp hour bank but that replaced like an eight a 750 amp hour 12 volt telecom eight absorbed gas mat super expensive super nice battery bank that was uh, 700 pounds or something like that. It was huge and heavy. So I've got these two and that was an appropriate match for the maybe, you know, thousand or so, 12, between thousand and 1500 watts. I, I vary a lot in what I'm testing. So um, I would say if you're in it every day, you would, it, it's pretty applicable to go maybe a thousand watts for maybe uh you know 200 amp hours okay i would say that would be um that's kind of you know if you got to use it every single day you're sort of on a budget that sort of thing but that's a that's a that's a fairly um decent ratio in something that you're going to be in all the time kind of heavy on the panels okay and i would say maybe a high side of this if you're living in it every day, really, you could, you know, depends on where you are. We're in Oregon. We don't get much sun. So 2,000 watts to 200 amp hours. Now, that does not get you a whole lot of uh, storage. It just doesn't get you a whole lot of storage. Getting through the night um, would be tough, but it would charge most every day. Uh, if you're a cabin guy, you know, you could, give, you could go pretty low. I would say... Um, it's sort of on the low side would maybe be 250 watts per geez i mean it depends on how long it had to charge if it has a if you're hardly ever up there the sky's the limit to some extent or another i would say budget would get 
on lithium certainly becomes a, a, a limiting factor. And so I would say 250 watts to maybe like, um, maybe, I don't know, whatever. Let's say, let's say 600 amp hours. That's a pretty big battery. This is all 12 volt. Um, and uh, plus, okay. So that's a, that, that, but like I said, the biggest thing you need to understand, it's pretty easy once you understand the concept. And of course the concept is, are you going to be in it every day? Lots of panels to not that much batteries, just enough to get you through the night. Or are you going to let it recharge for a long, long time? And you want to come and have a big, powerful system with everything you need, fridges and everything like that. Now, uh, it, it, certainly there's no harm in going above this. Um, and, and, you, and like I said, this is on the low end. So you could get 1,000 watts against two batteries. Uh, I mean, against 300 or 400 amp hours is perfectly reasonable. Um, and really, the batteries are the more the merrier. But if you've got a budget, it's real important that you allocate the budget based on your understanding of how you, how often the person's going to be in there and how long it's going to be able to recharge. And then as far as people saying a three-day uh, reserve, you know, good luck with that. That'll be expensive and, and horribly difficult if you use lead-acid batteries, especially if you have a lifestyle where, um, you know, you're using a lot of power. If you're so, if you have solar, uh, you know it certainly goes, uh, does the majority of the work. But if you need to go three days, you know, in the middle of the winter, just off the batteries, that that's tough. So that is uh, how I size my lithium battery banks for customers. Thank you very much. Bye.